This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I do photography, travel, and once in a great while, an RV review. I was recently at the Southwest RV Super Show where I saw the last 2465 travel trailer. A rather nice travel trailer indeed. It's almost 30 feet long. And what I like about it is that it has all the bells and whistles and it's four season ready. What's not to like about that? So it has a slide out in the back for the bed and a slide out in the front for the dinette and has a nice sofa inside this unit. In the middle is the restroom area. Again, I saw this at the Southwest uh, RV Super Show in Dallas, Texas. The folks uh, hosting the event were very nice to me. I appreciate that they treated me very nice. And that's uh, in the front uh, of this unit, this Lance Trail Trail. You can see that very nice uh, you know, stargazer window. And that's where you have uh, three 20 pound propane tanks and has a smart jack, power tongue jack. A very nice jack indeed. So in the front you have uh, on each side an area where you can put your battery. You know, get a nice little AGM battery and stick it in there. That should be uh, sufficient. Get a big, nice, fat, uh, juicy uh, AGM battery. And that's a little storage under there. I don't know what that is for. And of course, you see the stabilizer jacks. Uh, I don't know what that storage is for because I couldn't access it. All the way around, you have, uh, you know, the awning style, uh, jealousy style windows, except in the slide area around the side of the slides because. You don't want an awning open when that slide goes in. You just want regular windows. So that's where you uh, connect the 50 amp you know, unit. This has two uh, you know, AC units and of course uh, connections for your uh, you know, antenna, and all kinds of stuff. This has Schwintech uh, mechanisms for both of the slides and this is a nice little storage area. You can put some items in there, you know, chairs, tables, whatever you want. And of course, the hinges are covered with, uh, you know, a metal, so it reduces the amount of, you know, issues when it starts freezing because sometimes hinges can break if it freezes. So this protects it against the water intrusion and freezing. So there's a slide mechanism in the large window in the, you know, the bedroom area. It has uh, slide toppers. What's not to like about that? And a backup camera, an observation camera, your choice. And I really like it. Of course, LEDs inside and out and an area in that bumper where you can put your stinky slinky. Okay. You can get these units at uh, Western Campers in Fort Worth and of course your local dealership. If you have any questions, ask them. Uh, this is just a quick overview. This is my little tour and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. So this is the latter, probably the most robust travel trailer la uh, ladder on the market that is a plus you have some connections back here and of course uh, you know for the ac you know you know alternating current uh, connections and uh, that's i think that's for the uh, outdoor shower there's some more storage here vertical storage very nice and that's the back of the refrigerator the back of the heater and the back of the uh, water heater all good stuff and the terminations down there for your low point drains and stuff the only thing I would recommend they improve is get the better, uh, you know, uh, more ride uh, type of s uh, stairs to get in. The, you know, the step above and those brands, uh, those are very nice. An area where you can put your keys, uh, you can plug in your phone there and get it charged. And you have a little area where you can put your phone too. And storage there and your connections for you know, controls for your slide out and uh, lights, etc. etc. Nice little padded. Uh, area there, a little storage up there, and this beautiful uh, stargazer window. I think that's what they call a stargazer, and a beautiful sofa. Wow, I really like it. I like it better than the sofa I have at home. Uh, this is plush, and it, ha it comes in that Roadster, you know, material. I really like the Roadster material, and you get plugs on this side, and you have plugs on the other side. This is a beautiful sofa. I really like it. You can lounge on that uh, during your camping trip and feel the, you know, feel the breeze coming through those windows. Wouldn't that be nice? This has in uh, cabinet heating, not in floor heating, so that's uh, very pet pet friendly and human friendly too. And uh, this has seal membrane countertop and a three burner stove, uh, so you can cook at, uh, you know to your heart's delight and has a nice little fan on top and a you know 
stainless steel finish to a microwave. Not a black finish, a stainless steel finish. You have two layers there, so you can put cans on the top or whatever you want. Yeah, no space is wasted. And of course, the cabinets are A plus quality, curved, and uh, beautifully made. So right there, you can con uh, check out your levels and also control some of your uh, lights. And that's where you can uh, see what's up with your solar on the roof. And everybody needs solar nowadays, don't you think? And that's your little uh, heater slash uh, fireplace. That's a nice little feature, don't you think? And a head unit to the left. And this is your dinette. And I think you call that the dream dinette because that plops down a certain way. But I could be wrong. What do you think? Is this a dream dinette? I don't know. That's a question for your RV dealership. I'm just giving you a little tour and uh, showing you what they have. And Daddy likes this unit a lot. I really, really love it. Too bad I have a puny truck. It cannot tow this. My truck's too small. I need a bigger truck. Maybe you have a big truck. If you have a big truck, get this unit. I would. Why not? So there's a the refrigerator to the left. has that uh, stainless steel finish. And of course, this has three more drawers here, more storage there, and, and that uh, seal membrane countertop with a nice sink. And uh, it's a storage area there, and a window there, and a mirror there. And of course, the, counter, uh, the uh, sinks are now, uh, you know, have been for the last few years, uh, this American stone cast, and they move from the white to the gray. The gray hides, uh, you know, any sort of, you know, scratches and imperfections uh, that you get using it uh, more readily, okay? So now we're in the uh, restroom. That's a nice ceramic toilet. Got a nice shower surround on the right. Medicine cabinet right in front of you. A towel bar, and you get some little storage under there. And of course, you can upgrade that uh, a little puny fan with something nicer like a Max Air or a fantastic fan. Nice metal finished uh, hardware. I like that, not the you know white plastic, so that's definitely an upgrade. What do you think? And yeah, let's go to the right to the bedroom. And one of the key features of this uh, unit has twin air conditioning units. For a 30-foot unit, you have to get twin air conditioning units. And of course, it has this gigantic king size bed the only time my wife and i s sleep in a king size bed is when we're on the road we have a queen size at home and they're gigantic you can s uh, sleep some significant people in there so that's a big window from the in the back so you get a nice view of uh, your scene as you're camping somewhere hopefully it's a nice uh, natural scene not the back end of another camper so to the right and the left of the bed, you have some uh, AC receptacles and also some 12 volt receptacles. So if you want to charge something or have a CPAP machine or want to play some tunes, no problem. So you get four drawers down there and uh, two uh, storage areas up front and you get uh, storage on the right and also storage on the left. Plenty of storage and of course that beautiful, absolutely gorgeous 40 inch TV. So you can lounge in bed and watch them uh, are your favorite shows again you get solid wood uh, construction of the you know the door fronts and also the hinges are top of the line <laughs> you should not have any uh, complaints about that very very nice let me open up some of these cabinets for you and uh, you got some more storage here and more storage above uh, there's storage everywhere in this unit uh, there's nothing to complain about storage. If you can't uh, find enough storage in this unit, you're taking too much stuff with you. Leave it at home. Just uh, leave it at home. Don't bring it with you. <laughs> you have plenty of room here for enough for four or five, six days, a couple of weeks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. So we're going to walk out of this unit uh, again. Uh, I did a quick tour, only a basic tour. Don't forget to check out your local uh, Lance dealership. They'll probably have definitely more information. They have some receptacles back there I wanted to show you, okay? This was the Dallas uh, Southwest RV Super Show, and this unit was called the Lance 2465 Travel Trailer. A very nice travel trailer indeed. Is bigger, better. It's up to you. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I do photography, travel, and RV reviews. Please like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my website if you have a little time. jmmgarza.com I live in Fort Worth, Texas. From Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.